I'll be honest. I was kind of expecting the worst there. Belena, sorry to have kept you waiting so long. I hope you weren't too worried about us. So glad you're all right. Did you find the moon crystal? Eh, of course we found it. If you ask to see it, though, I'm going to be suspicious. I knew you could do it. Uh, would it be all right if I took a look at it? Don't trust her. Don't do it. Don't do it. She's holding it. Wow. So this is one of the legendary moon crystals. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Thank you so much. I'm sure that Lord Galician will be very pleased. Okay. What? What are you talking about? Haha, <laughs> let me show you. Yeah, I thought it was weird that you knew things we literally never told you about. Helena, who are you? Okay, how in the hell did you even do that? Although, okay, admittedly, for the record, I did not realize that that was who that was. So, it, it, fair enough, I guess. It, but but still, how did you do that? Let me reintroduce you myself. I am Belaza, the fourth admiral of the Imperial Armada. I specialize in covert operations. You don't need to get your hands bloody to win battles. Sometimes a little trickery goes a long way. You, you tricked us. Bellana. Or, uh, Bellaza. So, everything that you said about your parents, about war, about your childhood, was it all a lie? Did you just say that to get us to trust you? And I told you the truth. I never said my father was from Nassar. He was a Valon soldier, and he did die in battle. Years later, I too became a soldier. I want to put an end to all wars so nobody has to go through what I went through. And I'll use any godlike monstrosity to accomplish that, I guess. Countries go to war arguing over borders and resources. If the world was united under one rule, there would be no more war. No, you would just establish a rebellion. Because nobody should be in control of literally everything. That is why we need the power of the Gygus to make sure no one opposes us. Bella must rule the world. Yeah, that's definitely not evil. Bellaza, no, don't! Oh. Okay, I was not prepared to actually see one of these so earlier. Uh, so so early. Red Gygus, Reckman. As bearer of the Red Moon Crystal, I command you to awaken and do my bidding. Oh, I don't like this. Oh no! Uh, Fina? What did she do? This is bad, right? Rekabin. No, oh, she can't be. Goodbye, handsome. Recommend I command you! Engulf these three in your flames! Uh oh. <laughs> and then she immediately bolts! Alright, so, uh, if we survive this? Just throwing this out here. New rule trust no one ever. Bye, Psyka, hurry, we must run! You know what's going on? The hell is that? She's summoning Rekomen, the Red Gygus. She's using the power of the Red Moon Crystal to awaken him. How big is the Gygus? Like, bigger than the pyramids or comparable? She, what? I guess we're gonna have to run. Icafina, let's get out of here. Icafina sounds like a bottled water. Sorry. Where exactly are we going to run, though? We, um, don't have anything resembling a boat. Uh-oh. It's really hard to run in sand. Is that? Yes, that's the Red Gygus Recommend. So those weren't statues in front of the temple. They were its heads. I mean, it could serve the purpose of both. Cool, it's basically a gargantuan version of that thing we kept fighting in there. It's looking at us. Run! Ah! Oh, God! Ow, oh, of course! Mina, are you alright? Come on, we gotta go! Sorry, I tripped. 
We don't have time to talk about it. We gotta go. Icafina, take cover. All right, either it malfunctioned or something hit it in the back of the head to make it miss. It missed us. Something hit it in the head. I can't leave you three alone, can I? Stop gawking and get on. Captain! Captain, you came back for us. Hurry, maybe we can take that thing out in the little jack. I, w really? I, I doubt that, if I'm being honest. Admiral Belza, that ship is rescuing them. Ready the links. I want to make sure they don't escape. Yes, Admiral. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, handsome, now we can see what you're made of. Squishy bits, primarily. Could you stop abandoning us? Gah! Captain, you came back just in time. I didn't come back for you. Yes, you did. My search for Arachnum brought me back to this desert. Sure it did. And I wasn't about to watch the three of you get roasted by that... That thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Hey, Fina, get a load of the captain. I wonder how long he can act like he doesn't care about us. <laughs> like, you really shouldn't tease him like that. He's a very cantankerous soul. Who's acting? I just want to find Arachnum. Rotten little brats always getting me into trouble. Yeah, okay, sure. Calm down, calm down, captain. But what should we do about that thing? Hell if I know. Well, let's treat it like a practice run for when I finally do fight Rachnum. That thing packs quite a bunch. Do not get hit by that beam no matter what. I don't know if the little Jack can take a direct hit. Yeah, I somehow feel like this is a terrible plan. Again. Now would be the time for an again. My goodness. Okay, so since there are four of us, does that mean we get four turns? Is that a thing? I'm just gonna be honest though, wouldn't being able to take out this thing with this little ship, like, not really say that much for the Gygases? It would imply that they'd actually be pretty simple to take down, but eh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Hey Captain, do you have any idea how to fight this thing? You know about much about this thing as I do, boy. Just stay up high and see what he does for now. Oh boy, and we do get four turns. Okay. Um Boy, howdy. That sure is a thing. At least I got a chance to see all this stuff. Oh, fires a cannonball charged with yellow magic. Special equipment is needed to cast. Lowers enemy ship's attributes for two turns. Special equipment is needed to cast. Eh, yeah, okay, fair enough. All right. Um, green sure looks like a situation that means we can shoot. So we will. And then I guess we'll focus. And then we'll definitely guard on the red. And we'll just see what happens, I guess. Oh, wow, that barely did any damage at all. Uh, maybe we should have not tried to attack it and just spent the entire turn focusing and dodging. That seems like it would have been a much better idea. Am I even doing damage to this thing? I'm gonna be completely honest, it doesn't- either it has a very, very large amount of- of HP, which it very certainly could, or I'm really not doing any damage, really. Oh, yeah, it's preparing. Ah, uh, evasive maneuvers? Evasive maneuvers? Okay. That's literally the best option that we've got. Unfortunate. Oh, dear. Uh, we might just be straight up dead. Oh, no. Okay. That looked like about as much of a direct hit as possible. and Sure looked like we were about to die. What was that? A few hitmen hits like that and we're done for. I can't believe it. I've never seen such destructive power before. Yeah, this really doesn't look like the type of thing we can do. And it won't let me do the thing. All right, then. Doesn't it usually tell you how much it takes? I guess not. All right, well, I know it needs more than what we've got. So, focus. Guard. Uh, I, and then I guess 
focus and then focus again, I guess. Just stockpile as much energy as we possibly can. Oh boy. I don't fancy our odds one bit. I dare say this is not good. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And the red ray! All right, uh, assuming it does the exact same amount of damage as it did before, and it didn't. It, in fact, did more damage than it did before. Cool. So glad that that was a thing. All right, then we'll just, uh, we'll just keep on focusing then. Okay, at least it literally only ever does that one thing and it telegraphs it really, really easily. So that much is really good for us. But, uh, huh. what exactly are we, what is the plan, Sam? What, what are we, what are we trying to do here? Because I don't have enough items to heal us. What are we supposed to do to beat that thing, Captain? There has to be something we can do. I don't know if we can destroy him, but perhaps we can avoid his attacks? If you remember when I saved, I mean, when I picked you kids up, I attacked it with my cannons and it threw it off balance. So what I'm thinking is that if we were to concentrate our cannon fire right before it attacks, we may throw its aim off. I suppose it's worth a try. What have we got to lose other than our lives? Let's give it a shot! Okay, so... It wants me to just attack, attack, attack then, hey? Okay then, then we will attack. But then I'm definitely gonna use this here repair kit. Just to be on the safe side. And then I guess we're going to attack it again! And you know... What? I feel like focusing just to make up for all that stuff we're about to spend. It's open! I mean, I'm okay with the whole uh, evading damage thing, but still, it's really only gonna work so much. I only feel like this is gonna work because the thing actually said that, you know, it has. we have the advantage on its attack turn, so... Yeah, all right, preparing attack. Then we just gotta, I guess, bap it in the back of the head. One of the head, I guess. Whatever works. There we go. Knock him slightly off kilter, maybe. I really don't feel like that worked. I don't think that worked. It did not work. And now we're just dead. Oh, okay. Was I stupid and... That, was I just an idiot there? It really felt like that's what it was asking me to do. Okay. Well, that's annoying. More than slightly. I... I literally did exactly what I thought I was supposed to do, and it didn't work. Alright, well... Um... It's not like I had stronger moves or anything. I'm not really sure what it was trying to get me to do. And the fact that the spear gun thing only shows up later, I guess I can't just use it willy-nilly whenever I want. Oh, jeezums and crumbsums and other such things. You know, for the record, Jackdom, I mean, you know, th th this might not be the right time to bring this up, but I just can't help but point this out. Um... You know, if you had never left us behind, we never would have had to have gotten another boat, and this whole thing probably wouldn't have even ended up happening, but hey, whatever. Ooh, there's no point in pinning blame on people now. Alright, so a direct hit really is instantaneous death. Even at full health, it's instant death. It's interesting that evasive action, like, it doesn't look like it's doing anything because it looks like a direct hit and it looks like you're about to die instantly. But, uh, yeah, I guess guarding really is very beneficial. Okay, okay. Let's just not. Is that a few more hits like that and we're done for? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so... 
what we're gonna do, what are we gonna do? We're gonna heal is what we're gonna do. And then, obviously, we're gonna guard. And then we're gonna focus. And then we're gonna focus again. There we go. That's so much better than a repair kit. Why don't you why would you even bother with them? I guess to avoid using spirit points, but I don't know, man. I feel like it I feel like it's worth using the spirit points. Now we just kind of have to kind of sit around and, and, and wait, I guess. doop a doop -a doo just trying to not die, I guess. Not a lot of other options. Slowly but surely, eventually. The first time around, it wasn't so bad, but the fact that I'm just trying to get back to where I was, yeah, that's a little annoying. All because I did exactly what I thought I was supposed to do. Unless, I don't know, I guess red with a C on it doesn't mean take advantage of the situation. It means the enemy is taking advantage of the situation. Absolutely never get hit by it in that particular instance. Only thing I can guess. All right, then fine. How about we shoot it and then... Wow, that's really helpful. All right, then then we heal, and then we definitely guard. Absolutely, and then we focus again. And then we'll have, like, full spirit points, and we'll just absolutely besiege upon it. Something fierce. We'll just hit it with as many attacks as we possibly can in consecutive order and just kind of see what happens. That's at least how it looks like it's going to be arranged next turn. Go. Heal ourselves up to full, then engage in evasive maneuvers, and theoretically, we will not die in one hit. Boy, howdy, would that be preferred. Come on, come on. Do your big dumb red ray of death and destruction and sadness and all that other stuff. Ouchies. Okay, so if this does extra damage, like 5,000 or something, okay, 4,000, then yeah. That just means that was its advantage state. I thought it meant if I attacked it during this, you have the advantage, you could make the, you know, evasion thing happen. It didn't work. It didn't work. I'll chalk that up to me being stupid. It just, it really did seem like that's what it was asking me to do. It's like, hit it before it attacks, and it'll miss. Um... Huh. I feel like I'm about to make another absolutely terrible mistake here, if I'm being honest. Okay! I don't like these odds at all, if I'm being real. But if any of our attacks will be able to manage to knock it off kilter before it can hit us... Sure seems like this would be the move to do it. Here's hoping! Here we go! Gonna launch the harpoon! For the love of God, let this work! I feel like it didn't. It definitely did more damage than normal attacks. But it looked like it knocked the head. Okay, okay. So that is, that does work. That does work. Good, good, good. All right, just normal cannons don't work. Harpoon cannon do work. Use harpoon cannon. Harpoon cannon make the ouchies not hurt. Very good to know. Very good to know. But that being said, this is still going to be an extraordinarily long fight. I'm barely able to do anything here. And I need to save up all of my energy just to use the harpoon cannon. Yeah, we did it. We knocked it off balance. Yeah, but, well, it doesn't look like we did any damage to it, though. 
I mean, we did. If we stuck around and did this exact same thing for about two hours, maybe we'd win. I don't know how long we can keep this up. It just feels like we're only prolonging our own deaths. Yeah, thank you. It's gotta have a weakness. Um... I mean... We tried attacking the heads. It didn't work. And this whole time I was thinking, what if it's like one of those Star Wars AT-ATs, you know? And tie up its feet and maybe just knock it over so it can't really travel? Try attacking its feet. That's got to be supporting a lot of weight. That might be a weakness. At the very least, it's different than, you know, attacking the heads. Okay. Let's aim for defeats. And then we'll guard. And then we'll aim for the feats. And then we'll guard. <laughs> and hope for the best. Doesn't feel like we really did a whole lot there, if I'm being honest. But uh, I, I guess we're giving it a go. Using the harpoon cannon on it might end up doing a thing that'll work. Maybe. Possibly. I mean, shooting it in the head with the harpoon cannon seemed to do a decent amount of damage. So, it might work. I don't know. It's definitely a war of attrition. I can't help but feel... Just kind of doing our best there. And we're doing a very tiny little fractional amount of damage there. Not... Not bad by any stretch or measure, but I certainly feel like we could be doing a hell of a lot better. I just feel like I probably won't be able to survive long enough to actually guarantee a victory. Maybe. Yeah, no, I feel like I'd run out of healing options before I even had the chance. I feel like killing this thing just isn't going to be a thing that works out for us. All we can really do is maybe delay it a bunch so that it has a hard time killing other things. Damn. I was hoping we might be able to topple that thing over, but it didn't even flinch. It's no use, boy. The only thing we're managing to do is damage our own ship. We can't continue fighting like this for much longer. We must retreat for now. Get us out of range of his attacks, boy. We need to think of a new strategy for now. Yeah, no, I was pretty adamant on that from the beginning. <laughs> it's not cowardice if you literally can't win a fight. You're right, Captain. I suppose we've got no other choice. Now then, full speed ahead. Get out of range of that thing's attacks. Nobody likes running from a fight, but when you've literally got no other options, you just kind of got to do what you got to do. I was kind of, sort of, quasically hoping that this was the case, because if we were able to very casually destroy one of these, you know, legendary Gyguses with the Little Jack, I don't know. I, I feel like that would have under... It would have made the whole Gyguses not look all that imposing. I was like, wow, that was surprisingly easy to destroy. Nothing is working. If we keep fighting it head on, we're going to lose. Hey, Fina, can you think of a way to stop it? Gyguses don't make their own decisions. They only obey commands given to them by the ones who awakened them. Until Bellaza commands it to stop, there's nothing we can do. So, something were happened to Bellaza. I got it. I know how to stop that thing. Murder! You mean attack Bells' ship? <laughs> Ram into the gun! No. You mean attack Bells' ship, right? If we can stop her, we can force her into calling off the Gygus. You got it! That's a good idea. Either way, we'll last longer against her than we will against that thing. Alright, full rudder. Target Bells' ship. All hands to battle stations. Won't it just be protecting her, though? I feel like it's just going to be protecting her, though. <laughs> All right, well, I do definitely feel more confident about being able to fight off this thing. Oh, the Lynx. All right, then. It's definitely a bit more of a fight than the other things I've been having to go about in naval combat, but here we go. Ha ha ha, meet my flagship, the Lynx. Now I'll show you the true power of the Imperial Armada. My magic cannon will take care of that little ship of yours. I mean, I was able to take a considerable amount of hits from that big, you know, what's it? All right. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use the repair kit because I actually don't want to use the spirit points on this. Yeah. Yeah. I'd very much like to hold off 
For now. I'm sure I will relent a later. All right, let's guard. And then we're going to focus up and try to use that harpoon cannon as soon as possible. That's my primary goal right now. Oh, boy. It can use that. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. We do not have such luxuries. I'm assuming we can get a better, bigger, more powerful ship at some point in the future. Because I don't think that this is really going to work. At least not without some considerable upgrades. It uses magic. Magic cannons indeed. Magic cannons indeed. Oh no. We might be about to die. <laughs> if in obeying real with y'all, we might be screwed. We just might be about to die horribly. The answer is yes! All right, well, as much as I don't want to spend a bunch of spirit points healing, uh, yeah, no, definitely don't have anything resembling a choice. It's either that or just straight up die. Yep, 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 yep. Sure don't like any of this. Okay, that, no, 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 that's the wrong one, that's the wrong one. Uh, oh, we can use Ingrim on ourselves? Okay, well. Uh, we'll survive a hit. And I really wanted to use this instead. So, there we go. Then guard. Seems like a good option. Just boost our defenses as much as we possibly can. Then heal ourselves, and then just brace for impact. I really feel like I, 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 maybe, oh, Lord. I really should have uh, maybe attempted to actually try to hit it at least once with the cannons just to see what kind of damage we can do. I feel like maybe relying entirely on the harpoon cannons not the smartest call, but I don't know. It just, it just seemed like the thing to do. The Lynx Torpedo! Oh, no! Uh. That... Missed, I guess? I'm not 100% sure what just happened. Wevelyn! Ah! What the crap, man? You really suck. All right, yeah. See, now you know. Now, now I feel like I'm even more justified to be attempting to try and get this whole thing to work. You used evasive action. That's my cowardly action, not yours. How dare you? Okay, okay. Damn, that Lady Admiral's good. It's almost as if she can read our every move. Nice, I can't find any openings. Her defense is too good. What should we do? Oh, boy. Try and get behind her ship? I don't know. I feel like that's probably just going to end up making that not work, but it's what... I feel like the reason I'm not going to do that is because it's what worked last time, so turn around and try to catch her off guard! Hmm. That ship's quicker than it looks. It may have surprised me this time, but I always have a backup plan. Preparation is one of the keys to victory, handsome. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go ahead and keep on doing that. But still no opening for using the super harpoon cannon, huh? That's really annoying, if I'm being honest. Okay, fine. So be it. We'll just smacketh you up. You don't have access to green magic at all? Okay, that's not... Good. Um, and that'll heal 4,000 HP. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we're probably going to die. But I'm going to try. Oh, okay. Okay. That was good damage. That was good damage. But now it's doing stuff like this. It's taking aim. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this. No siree. No sorababo. Link sub cannon. Oh, no. I don't think we can take enough hits before we get a chance to heal ourselves. I definitely made a horrible mistake. Oh, well. Oh, delightful. I don't even get a parting shot before we get blown out of the sky. Okay, I mean, I guess if you miss too, that works out pretty well for us. Oh, wait, no, never mind. She just did it a second time, and at that time it works miraculously. Oh, okay. All right, cool. 
I am really bad at bow fighting. Now we get to start over entirely. Fantastic. What the hell am I supposed to even do? Yeah, 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 I know. I already got destroyed by it in another universe. Thanks for that. All right, fine. Just use that, I guess. And guard. Yellow is real bad for us, as it turns out. And then, I don't know, we might as well try to do at least something, and then evasive actions again. Here's hoping we don't die in the first turn. All right, cool, cool, cool. Glad you did that. I mean, I kind of actually am. It just means that's the turn you didn't spend hitting me. Any turn you spent not hitting me is definitely a good one. But, you know, then stuff like this happens and not a fan. Not a fan. And now they're taking aim, so this is going to hurt a lot. Not a fan! And look at that, we kind of, sort of, maybe dented them a little. Oh boy. Yep, 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 yep. In serious pain. In serious pain. Alright, well. Just heal ourselves up. I feel like trying to get behind her isn't going to really work for us, if I'm being real with y'all. But maybe going behind her is the way to get the harpoon cannon to work. I really feel like that's something we need to do. But yeah, no, guarding, guarding, focus. And just kind of hope for the best, I guess. Can't really think of anything else to possibly do. Ow! Sure do love how you're able to do over almost, almost, you know, just over half of the amount of health that I'm able to heal. But you know, you're able to do that constantly and I'm not able to heal myself constantly. I guess the Lynx torpedoes, yeah, I was wondering what the deal with that is. Eventually they just come back down and a Additionally, attack me with whatever they're currently doing. That is really unfortunate, and I don't like it. I'd much prefer if that stopped being a thing. I desperately want a better ship than this. I'm not a fan of this ship at all. <laughs> the fact that I was only able to just barely squeak out victories over the other fights really kind of goes to show that this is not designed for this sort of thing. All right, well, I feel like this is not going to work, so let's do it. Huh? Where'd she go? Damn it, boy, you let her get behind us. Now she's got a clear shot at her backside. Cool. All right, so the option that I did before was the correct option. I just still was really awful and didn't capitalize properly. I think it'd be so predictable. It's almost disappointing. Battles aren't always won with brute strength. Sometimes knowing how to read your enemy can be the key to easy victory. Yeah, cool. Cool. So, I don't have much of any idea what to do at this point, if I'm being real with anybody. Just gonna keep guarding, I guess, until we can eventually, somehow, magically, uh, find the winning strategy necessary to use this damn cannon Because I can't I can't sacrifice my turns of guarding to attack because I'm not doing enough to make it actually worthwhile And now the torpedoes there's a that's a bunch of torpedoes that are hanging up up there That is a lot of torpedoes that are eventually going to rain down on me Also, she didn't really get behind us much really Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, that wasn't too terrible. Still not happy about it, but I guess it could have gone worse. I guess. Perhaps. Maybe. Now we're evading. 
This fight is going incredibly poorly for me. All right, and then they did evasion. Okay, damn, she's too good. I can't find any openings. Boy, we need to get into a good position to fire the harpoon cannon. Yeah, obviously. Wait and see what she does. Set engines to full speed and get behind her. Well, the last time I did that didn't work. But waiting and seeing what she does. I mean, she's just all about outwitting. I feel like this is absolutely not the right option at all. Lady Belza, the enemy vessel is continuing along its present course. Aha, what's wrong, Anthem? Couldn't think of anything to do? If you're not going to do anything, I will. I hate everything about everything. Okay, well, at least an opening is coming up. That's good, at least. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna heal. Then I'm gonna guard. Then I'm gonna guard. Then we might, well, at least hit her once with the cannons. Ow. Well, that's why we're healing. Thank God we're able to heal for as much as we can. For a mental no, when I get the chance to do more training, train up Fina to be able to use more healing spells, because it's really weird that she doesn't even have the first level green spell. I, for some reason, thought we most definitely had that at this point, but we don't. Oh, we don't. All right. Ow! All right. Next chance I get, let Ika do the healing, because that's obviously going to be a thing that's necessary. And again, we might be getting hit so much, I might have to dedicate two turns to healing. Okay, it's something. It's something. I just don't know if it was worth getting hit with this next move. Oh, okay. I mean, it wasn't getting hit, but sure is going to make the next one not good. This isn't fair! Why doesn't she sit still like everyone else does? Why does she expect us to hit her with the harpoon cannon like this? Bring the little jack to a complete stop. Okay, apparently that worked. Mm, okay. Fine by me. Magic, heal up. Then, I guess, take advantage of the fact that we've got advantage. Then definitely use the freaking cannon. Holy hell, use the cannon. And then, you know what? Let's just shoot him again. Using the first turn to heal up, so... Yeah. Maybe we'll survive. Who knows? At this point, I'm just desperate. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. I'm already regretting my choice and actions, if I'm being real. Soften them up a bit, I guess. Then we gotta have to get hit with another one. Although we are by target lost. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Please, for the love of God, do far more damage than I even I could comprehend. I'm in desperate need of help! Oh, thank God! Alright, yeah, no. We actually have a snowball's chance in hell now. Alright, launching more torpedoes. Launching more torpedoes. And then I shoot you with the pew pews. Okay, we can totally win this. I just need to not get cocky. And not die here. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It was possible things were about to go horribly wrong for me. Vice Captain, what just happened? We were on their tail and now suddenly he's behind us. Well, uh, the enemy vessel suddenly stopped and we passed them. What? The speed was their biggest advantage, and you mean to tell me they just stopped? Well, your whole thing was telling them, oh, maybe stop being so predictable. So, damn, it's not as predictable as I thought. Can't keep fighting him this way. I need to take him out quickly. Now's our chance. Her defenses are breaking down. It's time to open fire. We literally just did. Um, uh, this is probably not a great idea, but we're going for it. Just gonna super heal ourselves up then I'm gonna focus once then guard and hope that this works out 
it's possible that just a, you know, an, an intense boost of, uh, of, 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 of attacks over and over and over again might have been enough to finish the job. But, you know, that's the very definition of getting cocky and I'm not in the business of doing that right now. I'd much rather win. I'd so very much rather win this fight than die. Plus, if we can build up enough energy, there's an opportunity to use the harpoon cannon very soon. That'd be pretty good. I sure would like to do that. Oh boy. The pain. Death approaches, and I don't much care for it. Oh, okay, that's a lot of stuff that just happened. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Evasive action! Evasive actions, and then woo! Okay, okay. We've got the ability to do what we need to do, and we're going to win this. Absolutely. The way I see it, the harpoon cannon is a f more than good enough. So yeah, we'll just evasive actions our way behind. Yeah, yeah, no, harpoon cannon, more than good enough to finish up the, the, the whole thing. Don't need to worry about it. Let's just spend our times healing ourselves up a bit. So we can weather whatever storm she is about to unleash upon us. Like so. Like so. Okay. Uh, here we go. Now we implement our strategy. Our stratagems. Get right up behind and then impale their engines with the thing again. Yes, there we go. Show you to underestimate our... This, this is what you get for underestimating our incredibly small and not very lethal ship. Cannon, We're basically a glass cannon. We can't take much, but man, if the stars align, we can do big damage. Less like a lynx, more like a kitten. I will gladly take all of the experience points. A thank you, a thank you. And now check that out. Now Drachma's the one behind. Fine by me. A Captain Stripe, a Magic Cannon, and apparently... I feel like that can't be a three-inch blaster. I'm going to assume maybe a three-foot one. Maybe it's a better gun. Ica! Signal Bellas a ship. Tell them that we will attack if they don't call off the Gygus. Aye, aye, that! Now all we need is for that Lady Admiral to listen to our demands. Don't worry, Captain. Bells is not the kind of person that would needlessly sacrifice the lives of her crew. Not like that last guy. I'm sure she'll call off the Gygus. That is very optimistic. Did it work? Nice, look! The Gygus! It's chilling out! It's chillaxing! There was a reply from Bella's ship. We've called off the Gygus. We are making an emergency landing. I repeat, we've called off the Gygus. We are making an emergency landing. We did it! Temporarily! Do you think it's possible for us to maybe fly over and grab that crystal back so that maybe, you know, she can't immediately just do this all over again once she's feeling a bit better? The plastic bit over my controller fell off that's holding the batteries in. That's not good. I think it was because I was fiddling with it too much. I get noivous, so I fiddle. All right. So, hey, Fino, what have we learned? Let's never let anybody else ever touch this thing ever again. You may have won the battle, but you're far from winning the war. There are five crystals left. Yeah, now we're going to get all of them. At least until we eventually get them all stolen and we're forced to deal with all six of them in the enemy hands at the same time. That's kind of how this sort of thing works. But I'm going to hope that that's not the case. The Valen Armada never makes the same mistake twice. You shall not defeat us again. And we won't make the same mistake of underestimating you again either. We'll get those crystals. Nerd! Fina, where should we go next? Well, maybe we shouldn't tell her. We shouldn't talk about it while we're standing next to her. Southwest of Nassar, beyond the South Ocean. There's a continent under the Green Moon. Really? There's a continent on the other side of the South Ocean? Yep, yeah, well, now the enemies definitely know about it. Good job. Yes, the green crystal should be there. 
Eh, well, that's the continent of Ixataka. Our soldiers are already there. Besides, the South Ocean has a strong headwind. You'll never make it across with that tiny ship of yours. No need to worry about that. You big nerd. We're taking your ship's engine. With that much power, we can get across South Ocean in no time. Ha! <laughs> Yoink. Wait, what? What? Th then how am I going to get back? I don't know. Maybe you should have thought of that before betraying us, jackass. We all decided that you should go back on foot. We you trick us. We take your engine. Yeah, I think we're even now. <laughs> what was that saying? Only those who have walked through the desert can truly know its size. Oh, snap. You want me to walk? <laughs> well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Now, well, at least you were graceful in de defeat. Never actually thought I would truly know the size of the desert. Ain't that a bummer. Oh, shut your face. I ain't listening to you. You win this time. Val's more powerful than you can imagine. And yet we still defeated you anyway. Funny that. And the trip to Ixataka is long and perilous. The chance that you'll survive long enough to get there is pretty slim. Are you sure you still want to go? You still have time to reconsider. Maybe, you, I don't know, you've had a long time to reconsider your actions of being an asshole. Didn't seem to really have taken, though. So, you know, we're pretty set on our thing. Real sailors aren't afraid of the unknown. I want to see the world. I'm not going to rest until I've left my mark on it. And I won't let anything or anyone stand in my way. Understand? You're rash and impulsive. I hope you survive long enough for us to meet again. Kind of surprised we were able to steal and attach the engine onto this thing so fast. Unless we actually have to go to a, a port first to get it attached. And we just took it and put it onto the ship. Also, wouldn't the engine to the Lynx be way, way bigger than the entirety of the Little Jack? I have many questions. You received the Red Moon Crystal. Well, we already did. We got it back is what we did. Looks like we picked up a magic cannon from the Lady Admiral. Using this, we'll be able to fire cannonballs charged with magical energy, which is pretty friggin' sweet. Just like Belza was doing, right? That's great. Nice. Did you hear that? We should really put this thing to good use. Be careful, though, boy. Using the magic cannon uses MP just like normal magic, so don't go too crazy with it. Is it possible to save while I'm up here? Just in the menu? I don't know if I ever bother to look. Like, next page. No, it doesn't really look like it. Journal. Read journal? Okay, well. Who would have guessed that we would find a girl aboard a Valen vessel? She said her name was Fina, and she's wearing strange clothes, but she's quite pretty. Dad was a little stern with her at first, but it looks like she's staying with us tonight. The whole village was burned down, even the flowers that I was growing in front of my house. It's quite a shock to come home and find nothing, but we can't just sit here and feel sorry for ourselves. We must save the others. We were rescued by a grumpy old man named Drachma. He treats people a little rough, but he lets me take the helm of the Little Jack for a while. Our destination is a place called Sailor's Island. It will take us to Val afterwards. Oh, they, they, like, they, they like take turns writing in the journal. That's amazing. Vice and I won our first ship battle today. I've never been so nervous in my life. On the Albatross, we usually just boarded other ships. But since we escorted the merchant back to Nassar, we could finally get into Vala with the passport he gave us. Aiko was right. That kid Marco reminds me of myself when I was little. Just so much built-up frustration. Once I was old enough to go sailing, I had a way to vent my frustrations, but Marco... Maybe tomorrow at the Coliseum I can convince him to not give up. Vice and Aiko have agreed to travel with me. And now she's riding in it! I was told not to trust anyone before I set out on my quest. But somehow I feel that I can trust them. They've already done so much for me. And I've only made one friend other than Cupa before. I can't believe the captain just left us out here in the middle of the desert. Oh, this lady named Bellin had agreed to lend us her ship, but for some reason I can't trust her. Vice can't stop drooling over her, and it's really getting on my nerves. Mm, jealousy! I ship it. I can't believe myself. Why did I go out of my way to help those kids? I should have been chasing Rachnum. Maybe Vice just reminded me of... What am I thinking? I must chase Rachnum. I have taken an oath. I'll chase him until one of us is dead. Well, didn't know anything about any of that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but it sure don't look like I can save here. Nope. Oh, wait. Rumble could have been on this whole time? I want Rumble. Why can't I have Rumble? That's weird. 
I know my controller is capable of it. Oh, boy. All right. Looks like I got no choice. But to make a strong turn over to the village. Yep, 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 yep. To the southwest we go. I'll deal with that later. Dealing with that later. I'd really much rather save my game. If I could just get over there before we get into serious problems. Yeah. All right. Didn't even have to deal with a random encounter. Plus, we'll get a chance to actually talk to that weapon guy now that we actually have a ship again. Whew, that was a lot to take in. Whew, yeah, I definitely need a bit of a break. Ah, in the next part, I guess we're just going to head over to the next area. See what kind of crazy stories and shenanigans we get involved to there. Hopefully we don't be as trusting as we were here. My goodness, that did not work out for us. Whew. Again, hope you enjoyed yourselves. I'll see you all then.